No, you don't understand, the knight said, looking a little vexed. That's what the name is called. The name really is the aged, aged man. Then I ought to have said, that's what the song is called? Alice corrected herself. No, you oughtn't. That's quite another thing. The song is called Ways and Means. But that's only what it's called, you know. Well, what is the song, then? said Alice, who was by this time completely bewildered. I was coming to that, the knight said. The song really is A Sitting on a Gate, and the tune's my own invention. So saying, he stopped his horse and let the reins fall on its neck. Then, slowly beating time with one hand, and with a faint smile lighting up his gentle, foolish face, as if he enjoyed the music of his song, he began. Of all the strange things that Alice saw in her journey through the looking-glass, this was the one that she always remembered most clearly. Years afterwards, she could bring the whole scene back again, as if it had been only yesterday. The mild blue eyes and kindly smile of the night the setting sun gleaming through his hair and shining on his armour in a blaze of light that quite dazzled her, the horse quietly moving about with the reins hanging loose on his neck, cropping the grass at her feet, and the black shadows of the forest behind. All this she took in like a picture, as, with one hand shading her eyes, she leant against a tree watching the strange pair and listening in a half-dream to the melancholy music of the song.